Hello, my name is Dana Cooper, Associate Athletic Director here at Detroit PAL. We're here today celebrating our girls with our Girls Empowerment Luncheon today. It's a season culmination of um, a year long of a girls initiative, an opportunity to increase both the number of girls that we serve as well as the amount of opportunities that we provide for them. So all year long we have made a special effort to get out into the community and get more girls involved in our programs. Our initial event was our girls' soccer program. That kind of rolled over into a girls' etiquette training, a volleyball extravaganza, and then here we are today with our girls' empowerment luncheon. Today, we are going to allow 65 plus girls address a panel of school six young ladies, all prolific figures in the community that have either participated in PAL or given back to PAL in some way, shape, or form. Those panel members include myself, Dana Cooper, Missy Wright, Missy Wright helped form the Girls Initiative by partnering with Detroit Pal. She was a doctoral student at Michigan State University. Jessica Brooke Williams, who's a master candidate at Wayne State University. Kristen Pierce, she's a journalist with MyTV20. Officer Shanetta Paisley, Officer Paisley is a staff member as well as a police officer with the Detroit Police Department. Myra Anaya, Myra is a longtime Detroit Pal participant as well as a Clark Park coordinator. Well, ladies, here is uh, your opportunity to speak your minds, okay? Open up, ask away. Um, our team's question is, how do you balance school and sports? Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with like-minded people. So if you're in sports and you have a, a schedule of work that you need to accomplish, make sure you're with someone or with a group of friends that actually are focused on those tasks. Is it okay for girls to say I'll be the only girl they let play because they knew me from soccer, so it was like we that was, that was a plus for me. I felt like special because I was like I was I was the only girl playing on the team. So I mean, if you're just tough and you know have the right character to you know stick with the boys, then you can do it. Playing your sport kind of messes your social life and your friends. I cheered for the Cougars. I cheered from six, I think, to 14. So those were not my friends. Those were like my sisters. We still call each other my sisters. And I may not talk to them all the time, but when we talk, it's, hey, sister, it's not, you know. So we develop a really, really good friendship. So I never really felt like I was missing out. I felt like people were missing out on my sisterhood with these, with these women. Also, let me say, um, just surround yourself with positive people, you know, positive friends, uh, people that are, you know, have kind of the same ideals uh, and goals that you have. It's called SMART goal setting, so making sure goals are specific, uh, so it's not just I want to do better in volleyball, well, okay, so what does do better in volleyball mean? Uh, so they're also measurable, they're attainable, so it's not like, oh, I want to, you know, turn pro next year. But is okay. What are the steps that you might need to do if going pro is something that you'd want to do? Uh, relevant, so it needs to be important to you. Uh, and then there needs needs to be a timetable. So, like Dana was saying, uh, there's going to be goals that you want to accomplish by the end of today, by the end of the week, by the end of the season, by the end of the year. Our softball program. We had Wednesday softball players come in and again form a one-day clinic for our softball players. Um, another opportunity for them to gain information not only on athletic programs that Wayne State offers, but the academic programs as well. Um, just last week, in October, we did a confidence, leadership, and etiquette address, and Scarlet Communications came in and they talked to girls and a host of other young ladies for giving the opportunity to learn and hear about proper etiquette, how to effectively be a leader, dining etiquette, social media etiquette, okay, as well as sport etiquette. So your ideas, uh, we, we want to take them and and do more things like this. That's what the Girls Initiative is all about. Uh, to form, we thank you again, young ladies. Thank you so, so, so very much. We are so very proud of you and encourage you to continue to push and do um, all that you can to continue to excel.